Today we have for you the Rocky Patel 810. It has a Corojo Barber Pole Wrapper. It originates from Honduras. It, the filler is from Panama and Nicaragua. And the binder is Honduran. We're doing a 6x52 today, which is a Toro. And it is a medium strength. This is to celebrate the Rocky Patel 10th anniversary of the cigar. But I'll let Billy tell you about the rest of it. It's a medium strength. Here we go. Okay, thank you. We are back. That was a lot to take in. And uh, to you new subscribers, hello. To everyone who's been here before, welcome back. Today we're doing the Rocky Patel 810. Let me let you get another look at that. I love that barber striping right there. Now, as uh, Billy said, the 810 in celebration of the Rocky Patel 10 year anniversary. Beautiful. Nice cap, nice foot. Love the stylistic design in there. You can't go wrong with this. Now, anybody who knows anything about Rocket Patel knows they make a great cigar. They're always coming up something new and inventive. And I have not talked to anybody who did not like a Rocket Patel cigar. If you don't, Leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear why and what and all that. But uh, there you go. Beautiful. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just cut it and see what we got. Now, usually, lately I've been using the um, hole punch. I don't know why. For years I've been cutting it regularly. Then for a while I was using the V-cut. I guess I'm into the um, hole punch. And see, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to place it as close to the middle as possible. And you're going to twist slightly. Twist. And then with a little, mo with a little, little pushing motion, get it going. Now, you're not trying to hammer a nail or anything like that. You're just trying to get a hole in your cigar. That's it. So don't need to try to crush it or, you know, try to show off. You know, <laughs> ah, no, that's not what it's for. It's a cigar. Take it easy. Not in a hurry. As you see, it'll slightly give. Your hole punch should always be sharp. So make sure you spend a little extra cash and get a good one. See, that's going in. I'm not killing it. You don't hear any crunching sounds. Twist, 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 twist till you get to the end. And then you just pull out. And you should have a plug. Your hole should look like that. See, you didn't hear any crunching or anything like that or smashing sound of a cigar. Because I took my time. And here's the hole that you get out of it. I don't know if you can see that. Perfect. So that's what that's the kick I've been into lately. So let's go ahead and do a cold draw and see what we get on this. Hmm. This is very subtle. I get a little tea, a little spice, and some earth. Not bad. Let's like this. Let's like this fellow up. And as you know anything, if you've been following me on Instagram or anything, I got a thing for lighters. Okay, I don't know why. Love them. Somebody help me. This is my latest one. It's a table lighter from Amazon, about 30 bucks. So what we're going to do, we're going to toast the foot right now. And what I mean by toasting the foot, I'm going to light it. And I'm going to place it a few inches away from the cigar. As you see, I'm just toasting the foot, trying to get it going. Wake up those flavors, get those notes going. Get the tobacco ready to be smoked. 
you don't have to do it this way. But you know what? This is tobacco from different countries. This is somebody's brainchild. You want to do it some due diligence. You want to give it some, some respect. And why are you in a rush? Before you get dessert, you got to eat your dinner first, right? So now you're going to get it. As you can see, it's well lit. And see how evenly that is around there? Now you're going to blow on it. And it should be red all the way through. If it's not, just hit it again. So you get the desired effect. Now I'm overdoing it now. It's ready to go. That's perfect. Perfectly lit. Now I always like to finish with a match. Now, I used to use wooden matches, but you know, I kept buying them and buying them and buying them. Sometimes I'd run out and forget. So I got one of these. Also, Amazon comes in different colors. I think you get about five of them for less than ten dollars. So here we go. Place in mouth. Now, oh, one another thing. One thing I never want to do. And it really bothers me. It, it makes me, creeps me out or makes me cringe. Some people take a torch and they point it towards their face. You never want to do that. Because you don't know how, what the torch is adjusted on. You don't have to get a quick flare up. Whoosh. There goes your, your beard, your mustache, your nose, melt your glasses, everything else. So never point it directly towards you. Always this or that. Straight up and down. So here we go. Notice I just kissed it with the match. I didn't shove it in there. I kissed it. Watch. See how far away it is? That's to make sure you get everything else that you get didn't get the first time. As you can see, look how that's lit. It's going to burn pretty evenly. So let's go ahead and see what we got as far as smoking notes. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This is a medium strength. This um, has a bit of earth, and it uh, has a bit of spice on this, too. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. It's a medium to full, leaning more towards medium. You got your earth. And your slightly spice, the earth comes in and the spice kind of rains down in a mist. You kind of get it kind of all over your mouth, but not at once. Very flavorful. Now, if you don't even think about this channel, I am going to uh, have a rating system, 1 to 10. So I'm going to smoke about a third of this. Uh, rate it, have something to drink with it, a drink suggestion. If you got something, leave something in the comments. Be glad to hear it. Be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, we are back. And uh, let me show you what I got. Good ash, good solid ash. Great smoke on this one. Really great cigar. I still had the notes, the little spice, a little cedar, a little earth kind of kicked in there a little bit. These are long fillers, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Long fillers. And this was actually created in 2004 to celebrate the Rocky Patel The Edge 10th year anniversary. Oh, and I just lost the ash. 
Story of my life. Okay? So what are we going to pair with this? What are we going to drink with this? Uh, okay. This is what I got. Uh, um, I like the earth and that slight cedar and that little bit of pepper that, that was kind of sprinkling down in there somewhere. It hit your mouth, but it didn't hit all at the same time. It kind of dot, 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 dot. Spice, 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 spice. Which I thought was very enjoyable. So, I was going to do the uh, Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey, which is this one. As you can see, I thoroughly enjoy this. It's almost gone. Then I said, you know, I like the way that tastes. It's straight bourbon. It's it'll do in a pinch, but uh, I kept it in the family. And this is what I got. Ready? One, two, three. I got bullet bourbon, but what I have is the rye frontier whiskey. I think is a great compliment with that because rye whiskey has a um, very distinct taste. It's made with a rye mash. So this is what I'm going to go with. And as you know, I do have a rating system right now. Oh, I love that. Let me say, this is what I normally do. Yeah. Get a whiff of it. I'm a nose person. I like smells. That's what gets me going. If it smells good. Gotta taste good. So that's what we're going to pair with it. The Bullet Rye Whiskey today. So let's give it a shot. And as usual, I'm asking you to subscribe to my channel. Karate Chop, the subscription, Kung Fu, the notification bell, so you'll be alerted the next time I do a video. Here's to you, new subscribers. Here's definitely to you, old subscribers. May you always be blessed. May you always have happiness. And may love always find its way to you or your loved ones. Cheers. Oh, see, I like that. I like that rye. It's a little bit more pronounced than the regular Kentucky straight bourbon. That's what I like about it. So let's put them together. Loving that. Loving that. I'd say that's a home run. Now, if you've been listening to this channel, you know now I have a rating system. And it's in five categories. In each of these categories, 10 points is the highest you can get. Five, five categories, 10 points, 50 points all together. So 50 points is the highest you can get for all five categories. Categories are as follows. Appearance, flavor, the availability of the cigar, the value, how much it costs, as opposed to how much, as, as the enjoyment I got out of it, and enjoyment is the last. So for appearance, I gave it a 10. I gave it a 10 because they took the time for details since it's the Rocky Patel Edge 10 year anniversary. They did a barber straight pole, which I thought was pretty nice. And they add a little bit of a class to it. The uh, It's made with Maduro and Corojo leaves. So I gave that a 10. Flavor, I gave it a 9. Great taste. I love the spicy, sprinkly stuff. And the little bit of cedar that went through it. So I gave that a 9. On availability, I gave it a 9 as well. Because you can get them pretty much anywhere. Now, sometimes they're sold out. But if you, if you go to one site, they don't have it. I guarantee you probably another site, probably like Mike's or somewhere like that or Cigar.com or Jane or somebody else will have it. 
and value I gave it an eight. It's a less than ten dollar cigar, which is always good, uh, a good value. So I gave that an eight. Enjoyment I gave it a nine because it was enjoyable. Great thick, great solid white ash. Nice smoke. Great notes on it. Didn't have anything bad to say about it. It's a medium strength. And uh, that gives you 45 points altogether. So 45 out of 50 is not bad. That's pretty darn good. That's a 90, what, 5? Generally, it has a 90 rating uh, with anybody else. So I'm a little higher because I, I really enjoy Rocky Patel. They make some great cigars. They're always well constructed. I never had one uh, go bad on me or unravel or any of the things that other other people have complaints about with cigars. I've always, for the years, I've always smoked Rocky Patel. It's always been a great cigar. I've never had a bad one where I had to go, oh, let me try another one. It's always been a great cigar. First time, first lit, boom. So that's why I gave it the 45 out of 50. And with that, I am going to bid you adieu. And I appreciate you coming to watch my video. And as I said before, Karate Chop the subscription, Kung Fu, the notification bell. So you'll be alerted the next time I do a video. This is Billy the All Star saying, as always, if you cannot be nice for the sake of anybody that's around you, please. Just be cool. I will see you in the next video. There should be some more selections around, maybe here somewhere or there or there. Take your pick. Leave some comments. I always answer them. Love to hear good, bad, or indifferent. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Love you all.